Good evening, everybody. I wanted to do a snooze review tonight, and tonight I'm going to do the Göteborg's Rapier Loose. It comes in this really nice can. It's got a cardboard bottom. There's the top. I think I'm probably showing it to you guys upside down. There you go. Got a nice tin. This is the first looseness I've ever tried. And don't you guys worry, I got a big one in right now. A really big one. Uh, yeah, so it's loose, so you can see here. You can see that nice, good, chunky kind of texture, but whenever you, whenever you pinch it, it kind of crumbles a little bit, but it's real nice and moist. Uh, it's got such a good smell. I, I, whenever I first started getting into snooses, I really stayed with mints. And this was the first loose one that I ever tried that was not... This was actually one of the first snooses I ever tried that wasn't mint. And I went with the loose. They do have it in portions. But the loose is kind of the original way to do it. It's got a real good lavendery, juniper smell. It's got a little bit of citrus and a good just tobacco. Man, I got a big one in right now. You can probably tell on camera, I got, my lip is huge. Ah, yeah, it's so delicious smelling. Great lavender, uh, maybe like bergamot, uh, and then it's got juniper and then just a great tobacco smell. Ah, very, very good snooze. So I got some in right now. A little bit about the history on from Wikipedia. It says it's the origins of Gothborg's rapier are atypical for a Swedish for for Swedish snus brands. Uh, there was a bunch of trial and er error in Gothenburg uh, at the port of Gothenburg. Apparently, a lot of traveling sailors would kind of make their own blends and, and share it with others, and this was kind of one of the ones that stuck. And uh, Swedish Na Swedish match now takes it, makes it along with general. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just got a great, great flavor. It's nice and it sits in the lip well. If you guys don't know, you to, to do the loose snooze, you kind of bake it. You, they call it baking a prilla. You bake it into a, a kind of a portion size roll of, of snooze. And then you just throw it in your upper lip and let it sit just like you would any other snooze. Uh, any, any, any portion snooze. Um... Yeah, it's just got great, great flavor. Uh, yeah, th this is kind of a must try for any pe person that uses snooze. Uh, I consider this kind of like the, uh, this or the general original loose. These are kind of like the Copenhagen of the snooze world. Uh, as far as like the, uh, you know, the, the people that use it, it's just like the most popular uh, snooze. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just really, really great smelling. It tastes a fantastic, good lavender taste. It's, just, it's just, especially when you have it sitting in your lip for a little while, it gets kind of juicy a little bit. It doesn't break apart in the lip uh, that bad, but not really at all right now, especially. Good nicotine hit, uh, I'd say about a one gram ball of this. I, I kind of go in between one and two grams because it's not like you're measuring it, you know, you're just throwing some in the center of your hand, baking it into a prilla and throwing it up there. So I'm somewhere between one and two grams. I'd say uh, one gram is probably close to one of these general mint portions as far as nicotine. Just a good, solid nicotine. They're, you know, it's good regular strength nicotine. Nothing punching you too hard, but it still gives you a good nicotine kick. Uh, yeah, yeah, the can's really nice. They used to have tin lids, I believe. I know it's probably going to be pretty hard to see what's on there. It's got their kind of seal. Yeah, and then their good classic looking label. Really great stuff. I order my snooze from, uh, I think it's called Snooze Me. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, unfortunately with snooze, I think I've talked about this in other snooze videos. The, all the snus that I have comes directly from Sweden, unless it's a general, I can get it locally. But the Swedish snus, 
when you order from them, you better order a lot because you gotta pay, it's pretty expensive for shipping. It's about 30 bucks for shipping. So every time I ever make that order, I always go big and order a lot. Uh, but the, uh, the, but the shipping coming directly from Sweden, I ordered this order. I think I've talked about it on one of the other videos, but this order that this tin came in, uh, or can came in, uh, I ordered it on a Monday and it was to me in North Texas from Sweden and, um, on Wednesday. So I ordered it in the morning on a Monday and this, the package was in my hands on Wednesday. I, I, actually at the plumbing shop that I work at because you got to have somebody sign for it. But that is unbelievable. You know, I wish uh, snuff was that way. I wish I could pay a premium to get my snuff really fast. But, uh, you know, what, what can we do? We can piss and moan all day about it. But that's just not how it is. So, uh, yeah. So if you order from any of these uh, snooze companies you can get it pretty quick but it, but you are paying for it you know you're it's it's costly you're spending some money on that shipping but you know I'm, I'm i'm kind of okay with that because whenever i order so much i fill up my freezer freezer with snooze uh it's cheaper to buy a whole bunch in a short period of time with 30 uh shipping on top than it is to buy individual cans because one of these cans is like seven bucks six seven sometimes eight bucks at various stores around here this can including shipping was somewhere around like five give or take almost close to five and uh so yeah whenever you're paying uh, whenever you're buying a bunch at a time you can get some of these i mean they vary in price different types of snooses some of them are a lot cheaper than others but uh yeah anyway it's just got a great flavor good lavender i really really like the lavender bergamot flavor in there and then that juniper just gives it this kind of sweet bear not really berry but kind of this berry vibe ah oh, it's delicious guys it's it's it's, it's you know I, I whenever i first got into snooze i was only sticking to the mints i was only sticking to the mints uh and this is a excellent uh just bare bones, regular snooze. Uh, I do have a can of the Prima Fint, and uh, which is a, a Goldenborg product, but uh, I don't like it as much as I like this one. This one is awesome. There was a minute there, I bought two cans of this, and I'm already done with the first can. There was a minute there where I was going to town on this stuff uh, daily. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a snooze. Lately, I've been on the snuff more so than snooze, but this is definitely a snooze that uh, I could do every day. Uh, great nicotine, great flavor. Sits in the lip really, really well. Yeah, it's a, it's a, if you want to try some real authentic snooze, this is the one to try. This one, uh, and, and general loose and then start getting into the pouches and stuff. There's nothing wrong with, with portions. In fact, I love portions. Most nights before I started getting on the snuff, I had one of these in like every time, every, I was going through cans, you know, real fast, like a can per two days. You know, I kept them in my mouth. They're like a breath mint or, you know, after dinner mint. But sometimes it's nice to do an authentic Prilla in your, in your, in your mouth there and, and enjoy it. Good nicotine, great flavor. It's just a classic. It's a classic. Uh, what I recommend too, if you want to hear some more detailed opinions about this snooze, uh, go watch Snooby. Go to his YouTube channel, watch Snooby. He goes into detail. He gives like a really deep uh, dive into what he thinks about it, and he'll give you history about the product. Snooby's just awesome. He's just awesome. I've had the privilege to get to talk to him a few times via via messenger. Really kind guy. He's got a great YouTube channel. Uh, go check it out. I'm, I'm, I, I've, I've nudged him a few times about getting into the snuff world, and uh, hopefully he will. Hopefully he will. So yeah, we got Goldborg's Repair. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Goldborg's Repair, or Repay, rather. Uh, excellent stuff, excellent stuff. And guys, I, I'm, I'm tossing around the idea of maybe throwing in some American dip into this video, into this channel. Uh, I'm not a very big dipper, but I am uh, interested in trying some some of them uh, just to see, you know, 
I've tried some dip back in the day. Uh, I, I usually stick with the mints whenever the brief times that I, w I would have like one can and it would last me a month because I would do it so little. But uh, I'm thinking about getting into dips. Uh, uh, if, if that's some videos you'd like to see, put some comments below and let me know. Uh, and if not, that's fine too. I'll stick to what I love, which is snooze and especially some good snuff. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, Gold Borgs Repair, go give it a try, order some, uh, and enjoy it. I hope you guys have a good evening and a, and a great weekend. Happy Friday. Cheers.